Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this part of the series we are going to talk about new command and it's called analog read. Basically it allows us to read analog voltages. We are going to use it later on in so many projects to read values from sensors. For example we can read the temperature using the same command and it's called analog read. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So first of all, we are going to create a simple circuit that contains these two ohm resistors. Then we are going to calculate the voltage using the analog read command. But before that, we need to make some calculations to prove that the value is correct. First of all, we need to talk about the Ohm's law and it's one of the most important laws when you are working with Ohm resistors. So don't worry, we are going to cover it step by step. So the Ohm's law said that when we have a power source, for example 5 volts, and if we connect it to an Ohm resistor, for example the 220 Ohm resistor, in this circuit, the current goes from the positive side of the power source to the negative side and it's called I. So the Ohm's law said that the voltage that we calculate between these two points equals the resistance multiplied by the current. So let's write the Ohm's law. The voltage, which is 5 volts, equals the resistance multiplied by the current and that's simply the Ohm's law. We are going to use it a lot. For example, in this case, we can calculate the current because we have the voltage, 5 volts, and we have the resistance. So the current equals the voltage over the resistance, 5 divided by 220 equals 0 0.023, and the unit of the current is the ampere or the amps. The voltage is measured in volts. The resistance is the ohm and the current is the ampere. So this is the current. We can convert it to milliamps. So it's about 23 milliamps. And that's actually the ohm's law. So it's very simple. Let's take another example which we are going to use. We are going to connect it to ohm resistors. So we will have the 5 volts using the Arduino. We can generate 5 volts. Then we are going to connect it to two ohm resistors, the first one and the second. For example, we can take the 1K ohm resistor and the 220 ohm resistor. So if you don't know how to read the resistance, you could read it from this uh, paper. So for example, here we have all of these and the resistance is 1K. Or you could use the lines. So I have this paper. We can use it to read the resistance. So let's take this example. For example, we have these lines with different colors. The first color is red in this case. So the red corresponds to the number 2. Then we have this orange color, which is number 3. Then we have the third color, which is 7. And finally, we have this line, and it's called the multiplier. It's black. When we go to this uh, multiplier column, the black color is 1 ohm. So all of this is multiplied by 1 ohm. So the resistance of this resistor is 237 ohm. And that's how we can calculate it. Basically, in this video, we are going to take two different ohm resistors. You could use any two uh, different kinds of uh, ohm resistors. For me, I'm going to take the 1K and the 220 ohm. The current goes from the positive side to the negative side, as usual. And we have here the ground. Basically, we are going to read the voltage of this point. We are going to connect this point to one of the pins. Basically, we use the analog pins. For example, the pin A3. Then we are going to read the voltage in this point, which is this voltage. For example, let's call it V2. To calculate this, first of all, we need to calculate the current. And to do that, we are going to apply the Ohm's law. So the Ohm's law said that the voltage 
which is 5 volt equals the resistance in this case the resistance is the sum of these so you could think of these two resistors as one with a value 1k and 220 ohms so let's apply the same uh, rule the current equals the voltage divided by the total uh, resistance which means 5 volts divided by the 1k and 220 ohm so I'm gonna calculate this as well and it's about 0 0.0041 amps we can convert it to milliamps so it's 4.1 milliamps now we can calculate the voltage which we've called V2 so in our case V2 equals the resistance and it's the 220 ohm multiplied by the current which we have calculated right now so if we calculate this it's gonna be about 0 0.9 volts so we need to read the value 0 0.9 volts when we use the analog read command and to do that first of all we are going to create this circuit and to make the circuit you will need the two ohm resistors I have this one and it's the 1k ohm resistor and the 220 ohm resistor of course you need the Arduino Uno the breadboard and few jumper wires to make the connections so first of all we are going to go from the pin that has this 5 volts I'm gonna connect it to one of the points then we are going to connect it the 1k ohm resistor so let's connect the first leg with the 5 volts so if you don't know how to use the breadboard and make the connections make sure to watch my previous video I'm gonna add the link under the video description then let's connect the 220 ohm resistor with this one by putting the legs in the same column then let's go back to the ground we have this pin G and D now we have created the circuit we are going to read the voltage from this point in the middle and to do that we need to connect at this point so make sure to put this jumper wire in the same column and let's connect it to one of the analog pins you can't use the digital pins to read analog voltages you could only use these pins from A0 to A5 for example let's use A3 now we could use the analog read command to read the voltage from this point and to do that let's connect our Arduino using this cable then let's go back to the Arduino IDE so first of all we are going to add few variables the first one is the pin which is an int and let's call it read pin I'm gonna give it the value A3 so we are reading the voltage from the pin A3 also we need another variable to put the uh, value that we are going to read the type is int and let's call it read value so I'm not going to assign a value to this variable we are going to read it from the pin and to do that first of all we need to set the pin mode so we are going to use the pin A3 as an input this time so we want to read from the pin but instead of adding this A3 let's use the variable read pin then we have the function and it's called analog read so we give it the pin which is the read pin and it's going to return a value between 0 and 1023 so I'm gonna assign the value that is returned by this function using read value equals the value that is returned by this function which is the voltage V2 and that's how we can use the analog read command now we need to check the value of this variable and to do that we are going to use the serial monitor so don't worry the serial monitor is just a window that we can use it to uh, display some kind of uh, data like the read value so when you go to tools then serial monitor we have this window we can display this variable using this serial monitor first of all we need to go to the setup and we need to begin the serial monitor using serial dot begin then we pass in the boot rate which is 9600 
I'm gonna show you what it means. Now we can print this value. So let's go down here and use serial dot print. We have also print ln. We can print any data like the read value. So this is actually going to display the read value variable. So let's go ahead and upload this uh, sketch. But first of all, I'm gonna verify it to check if we have any errors. So everything is okay. We can upload the code. Now let's open up the serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. And as you can see, we have the value 1023. So it seems that the program is not working. Actually, I have made a mistake. So this is not the GND pin. It's this one. So make sure that this pin is the GND. Then I'm going to upload the code again. And if we open up the serial monitor, we have this new value and it's 166. Basically, the analog read command returns a value between 0 and 1023. The 0 corresponds to the 0 volts and the 1023 corresponds to the 5 volts. So we need to convert this value and we are going to use the rule of 3. So the analog read command returns a value between 0 and 1023. The 0 is 0 volt and the 1023 is 5 volts. So we need to convert the read value which is 166. We need to convert it to a voltage and to do that I'm going to use the rule of 3 and it's very simple. So if the 1023 is 5 volts, we can get the value that corresponds to the 166. So the voltage equals the 166 multiplied by 5 over the 1023. That's why it's called the rule of 3. We multiply this value by this one and the result we divide it by the 1023 and if we calculate this and I've got 0 0.81 volts it's about 0 0.9 volts actually so our new function is working so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon and I will see you in the next one